Morning folks, cracker morning out on the water. Today we are going to be fishing my favorite soft plastic for flathead, the Z-Man three inch minnows. So I'm gonna talk colors, jig heads, and the techniques that I use for chasing flathead on this deadly little mullet imitation. Let's get into them. So today I've got the end of a run out tide, about an hour of run out. We're gonna hit the edges and work our way along the edges. The current's coming back this way. I'm using spot lock on the electric and I'm just jogging forward and working the edge. If you don't have an electric motor on your boat, you don't need to worry or your kayak or whatever it might be. You can just start at the other end of the bank and drift down slowly with the drift, making casts to the edges or paralleling the edges while you drift along. So we'll just spot lock our way along and see if we can find ourselves a flatty. I'm casting slightly up current because I'm bringing the plastic back towards me and it's drifting down with the current as well. Makes it a bit easier to stay in touch with the plastic and also presents it more naturally. If you're bringing it back against the current, it'll, it'll lift it up off the bottom and make it harder to control it. So bringing it back looks more natural. We can stay in touch with it better and it keeps it down on the bottom where we want to be when we're targeting flathead. A lot of bait on that edge, but a lot of weed on that edge as well. Yep, there we go. That didn't take too long. Only a few casts and we're into one on that edge. Yeah, that's not a bad one. So I get the net ready. Now I like to bring the fish to the net. I don't go chasing the fish with the net. I just put the net in the water and steer the fish into the net. So we'll get that net in the water and we're going to steer this fish into the net. Come on, come on. All right, fish on, fish in the net. There we go. That's a nice fish to start our session with. Good pan size flatty. So there we go. That's not a bad flatty to kick things off. Probably mid 40s, good pan size fish. That's on the three inch minnows in Gold Rush. So the three inch minnows is my go-to flatty presentation when I'm primarily targeting flathead because it's the perfect imitation of a mullet or a whiting. Just that real nice bite size bait fish. So that's on the quarter ounce head. I've started here, where I've started is a shallow weedy sort of edge. So the quarter ounce is a good weight for fishing those shallower, slow tapering edges like this. As I get into some steeper edges, I'll change that up to a 3 8 ounce in a 3 0. And that 3 0 hook is a heavy duty mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So it's a brutally strong hook, the same as on the Headlocks HD jig heads in a 3 0, which is perfect for the minnows. So that's our quarter 3 -o. You can see I've started with a nice dark silhouette color. That's the blackhead glow eyes on a gold rush. Reason being, it's early morning, low light. So I like that dark silhouette profile to start with. And it also has that nice flash of that gold on there. So that's dynamite. So there we go, a few casts in and we've got ourselves our first flatty for the morning. Fish on. Because we caught a fish in that spot just there, we're gonna throw a couple more casts in there because flathead are schooling fish. So you may often find more than one fish in an area like this. So we'll throw a couple more casts and then we'll slowly keep moving along again. One thing that I'm liking to see here is a bunch of bait. There's a bunch of bait on this bank this morning. So definitely find the bait, find the fish a lot of the time. You gotta think about reasons why the fish might be here. You know, it might be a break from the current. It could be, uh, you know, water movement that's disorientating fish and that sort of thing. Can be the bait, ambush points, the type of bottom. So just think about why fish might be in the area. If it doesn't feel fishy, you can always move on and try another bank. A bit of weed on that. If you're getting weeded up on the edge, you can try dropping your plastic a little further out from the edge as well. Might be getting in a little close. This bank here is predominantly a mud bank with a weed edge. So in this case, I just got, if I know if I'm hitting the weed, I'm up too tight on the edge.
Yep, yep, there we go. There's another one. You can see that I wasn't doing much when that fish ate that. That plastic would have just been moving down with the current. Only a little fella. That flatty, that plastic would have been just drifting with the flow then, but because it's Z-Man, naturally buoyant plastic, the tail actually sits up in the air as it bounces along the bottom. So it's like it's swimming along the bottom. So this guy, oh, settle down, buddy. That's on that gold rush color again, three inch minnows, quarter three oh big eyes. Just want to get him under here, make sure we don't knock him around. Oh. Come on, mate, you gotta go back in the water. Where are you? You're a pocket rocket. See ya, mate, pocket rocket. So because that plastic's naturally buoyant, as it's just bouncing along with the current, the tail's up in the air, so it actually looks like it's swimming along the bottom and foraging, looking for food and that feeding along the bottom with that tail up. That fish just picked it up while I was messing around adjusting the electric, moving us in a little. That fish has just picked up that plastic as it swam past. So it's cool with the 10 times tough elastic material, naturally buoyant, so it's always working for you in the water. It comes to life in the water. All right, guys, I'm losing touch with the bottom there a little bit as this channel edge gets deeper. So it's a much steeper drop off here now on the edge, dropping down into probably three to four meters of water. So I'm gonna switch things up and step it up to that three eighth ounce head. So three eighth ounce big eyes changing up the color as well. I'm on the purple death three inch minnows with the chartreuse red eye and that three eight three oh. It's another favorite of mine. It's UV reactive one. So again, low light, early morning fishing these edges. That UV color will have plenty of pop for the fish to see it. And that 3 8 ounce head is gonna allow me to get down there effectively and bump that bottom a lot more aggressively, throw up those puffs of mud, stir up a few flatties, hopefully. actually hit that at the top of the lift, that guy. Another little fella. Oh, we might put the net under him. So again with that net. Oh no, he's on their pocket rocket. We'll swing him in. Probably a just legal fish. He ate that 3 8 bounce 3 -o. Purple death. Chartreuse head. That 3 8 head definitely allows you to get it down there quicker and stay in touch with it more when you are fishing those deeper edges. So as soon as an edge drops to, so I'll fish the quarter ounce in low run if it's deeper, otherwise down to about a meter and a half, I fish the quarter on the edges. If the edge drops down past meter and a half, if it's like a slow tapering meter and a half, I'll run the quarter. If it drops quickly and gets down to beyond that, so two or three meters, four meters, I'll change it up to that 3 8 ounce 3 -o. And that's that glow, that's that a chartreuse head with the red eyes and that purple death. That purple death, the green belly on the purple death really lights up like the motor oil colour under a UV torch. So it's a yeah, beautiful combination, that dark purple back, that really UV popping belly. So we'll get this little guy back in the water. I'd say he's probably adjust legally. Remember to watch those spikes. I might just poke a hole of me. Handle with care, put them on the lip grips or use a wet cloth or something like that, but they've got those spikes either side of their head and on the back of their head. So that's the one that just got me there on that finger. So I'm always like a pin cushion after a session with these guys. So nice little flatty. Three already, just ticking along the edge of this bank. So we'll sort him out, Let's get back out there. Little fella, we found the school of little blokes. That one just nailed that as it was sinking back down. So that was a hop, hop and pause and just drilled it on the way back down. Another little guy though, we're getting a few little ones. Need to go and find a couple of bigger ones. Might hustle our way along the bank a little bit further, I think. See you buddy. There's not a lot of run today with a 
high low and a low high so even though i'm fishing a bit deeper i'm going to actually change back to a quarter just so i can get that really slow natural fall see if i can entice a bit bigger fish i've got a just got a couple of small fish pretty quickly so i've got the same presentation that chartreuse with the red eyes and um, that purple death but i've got it in the lighter quarter ounce 30 in a big eyes just so i can get that slower more gentle fall more natural fall fishing that same sort of depth edge so Fingers crossed that'll fire up a bigger one to have a go at this presentation. Yep. Oh, another little fella. A lot of little fellas on this edge. There you go, another pocket rocket. If you're worried about the uh, minnows being a bit big for them, don't worry about that. You can see that little guy scoffed it. I've caught flatties on the minnows before, almost the same size as the fish. So he's away, back in there again. That's that three inch minnows getting drilled again on the edge. There's generally two ways that I'll fish the, an edge like this. If it's a really straight defined edge, I'll often get right in along the edge and I'll actually fish parallel along the edge and just go cast shallow, mid, edge shallow mid edge and i'll just cruise right along the edge today this edge is a bit in and out it's a little bit broken weed and points and so it's a bit more it's not a straight edge not as defined so basically i'm sitting out from the edge a bit further and i'm casting in and fanning my cast in towards it and then hopping them back out again either will work you can sit out about a cast distance or so and just fan your way from out here or you can parallel that edge if you've got a real nice clean defined weed edge or sand bank or mud bank or channel edge that you can just work straight along parallel that means your plastic is spending more time in the strike zone whereas i'm bringing the plastic out a bit further away from the edge where the fish primarily are in saying that i have caught quite a few fish out deeper off this edge because it is such broken rubbly bottom and weed and all that sort of thing so we'll just keep chipping our way along there's got to be a big fella in here somewhere surely all right, we're going for a color switch. That tide has just started to push in now along this edge. It's not pushing into a real big high, so we're still going to keep working the edge while we can see it. And then once it disappears, we still sort of know where it is anyway, so we can track along the edge. So we're changing it up. We're going with a really natural looking presentation because that water is clearing up. I can see the edge in there really well. So that's our silver and black with glow eyes in a quarter ounce 30 tt big eyes with a bad shade color so very very natural looking bait fish profile hopefully that'll stir up a bigger one because we're catching plenty of little tackers that's for sure he's a little bit better fish Still working that edge. <laughs> Still catching little blokes. Oh, we've had a few just legals, one decent one, a few unders. So not a not a great track record so far this morning. We need to get that one big fella now to make up for it. See you, little buddy. Then I'm going to get back over where this bait activity is. I reckon we'll get one over there. Oh, yep, there we go. There was that classic take of a flatty. Just that tick as he ate it. Oh, he's not a bad fish either, in the net, beautiful. So here's another pan size, legal sort of fish. They're feeding a little bit funny today with that um, lack of water flow, that high, low, low, high. We've had it before where they like a really long pause. So you'll be hop, 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 pause, hop, 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 pause, long pause on the bottom, and then they'll just go tick and take it. Then you've got to set the hook. So if you think it's a bite, set the hook, strikes are free. There you go, that's another pan size sort of flatty. On that quarter 3 -0 big eyes, in that natural colour that we're fishing. Bad shad and that black silver with the glow eye. 
There you go, you can see that plastic there well and truly in the gob. Like, he has scoffed that. He's not a giant, whoop, not a giant fish. Maybe 43, something like that, legal flatty. Maybe just around that 43 centimeters. But he's, um, yeah, he's absolutely scoffed that placky. And he's actually bitten me off as well. So that's why it's always a good idea to use the net and not swing him in like I did. But you can see that placky's there and that he has chewed that leader. So it's it's come apart there and busted off. So mid, you know, low, mid to low 40s, handful of fish, scoff that placky. I'll do a bit of a retie, get the hook out of this guy, do a bit of a retie and we'll get back into it. Fish on. The tide is pushing in a little now and beginning to cover our edge, but I can still see the water movement from the edge there. So I can still get my plastics right up onto that edge. I'm still fishing right up on that edge, even though it's getting covered with water. And there's still not enough water for the flathead to get up onto the bank. So hopefully we can nail ourselves a couple more. Yep, there we go. Right on that edge. That's a nice fish, that one. He scoffed that. That's right on that weed edge there that is being covered by the water. So even though the edge is disappearing, we can still fish it because the flathead can't get up on top of the bank yet. That's a nice fish. Give it there. Beautiful. All right, there we go. All right, check that guy out. He has inhaled that plastic. <laughs> so he has scoffed that, so that's brilliant. He's a better sized fish. So maybe only you know mid to high 40s, but still a beautiful size of flathead if you are chasing you know flathead for a feed. Oh, Plucky's out. There you go. So he's shaking that plastic out. That was that change to that more natural presentation. So that was the bad shad three-inch minnows on that black and silver head with the glow eye. So beautiful natural presentation as this water clears up. And that's a nice chunky little flathead. So I'll see if I can get him out of here and show you without getting stabbed. So there you go. As we said, fishing that edge, the edge is basically disappearing as that tide sneaks in, but these flatheads still can't get up on the flat. So they're still holding those edges and knocking off the bait fish as the bait come to eat them. And that guy has nailed that three inch minnow. So that's a beautiful fish. I uh, might just talk a little bit more about the gear that we're using to throw these plastics as well, because I do mix it up depending on the plastic that I'm throwing. Beautiful dinner, that one, fish on. All right, we were talking gear just before. Um, when I'm fishing the Z-Man 3-inch minnows on these heads for flatties, I like to fish different combos for the quarter ounce 3 o and for the 3 8 ounce 3 o depending on the edges and that that I've been fishing. So. When I'm fishing the quarter 3 I like to fish it on a two to four kilo rod, seven foot two to four kilo, 2,500 size reel, six or eight pound braid and 10 pound leader for that quarter ounce 3 -o. When I'm fishing the three eighth ounce 3 I like to step it up a bit and I'll fish a three to six kilo rod and I'll fish 10 pound braid on a 2,500 or 3,000 size reel and I'll fish leader anywhere from 10 to 15 pound if i think that's mainly smaller fish that i'm going to be targeting that's just a locked blood knot to tie my plastic onto the 10 pound leader there if i think it's going to be mainly pan sized fish like today a lot of smaller fish on this edge i'll fish 10 pound leader if i'm purely going to go and target big flatties on a deep edge or something i'll step it up to 15 pound leader and i'll fish either a, a platypus hard armor or i'll fish a platypus fluoro but yeah, either are good, depending on the... It doesn't matter so much when you're fishing a heavy weight jig head and all that sort of thing. I'll just fish a rod length of leader. I like the hard armour. Uh, it's nice and hard wearing mono nylon leader. Uh, inexpensive, you get a ton of it for your money. And it's, it's yeah, it's a really durable leader. Easy to tie knots in, nice and supple, really nice sort of leader. Um, otherwise, fluoro if you prefer. And Platypus does a good Japanese fluoro that you can get your hands on. All right, we still haven't got the big one. We've now got three mid 40s sort of high 40s fish couple just on legal and a handful of small ones but we really want to see if we can get a better one but you know if not it's been a good session but we'll see if we can find the big one let's have a go all right we're still spot locked i've just jumped down the back of the boat so i can explore some of this other area down here there's a lot of bait just here hopefully there's a 
predatory species in amongst that. Nice flooding. So our, we've got our hard edge there and our edge basically continues around here, but it's now underwater. So we're just still, still fishing edges, but our edge is under. I can see the weed, the disturbance of the wind blowing across the weed where it's shallow. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Important to watch your line. When I cast that one right up into a bit of bait and weed edge there, I was watching my line and my line just went tick. My line took off. And that's because this fish ate it as it sunk to the bottom. Not a big fella. Probably illegally. Just legal, but another fish. Beautiful. There you go. Remember to watch your line as your line is sinking. As that line dropped then, that bloke ate it. We might go back in there again too. He could have a friend in there with him. It's only a little fella, but they're nailing that three inch minnows today. So, get him back in the water. Here, buddy. Fish on on that edge. That feels a little bit better. Come on. Beautiful. Come here, buddy. Guide him into the net. Oh. Move to another bank. Still finding the little fellas. There you go. Another 40 something centimetre floody. So he's a long, skinny one, that one, but he'd be. Just over the 40 mark, so just over legal. On that three inch minnows, bad shad, we're still on the bad shad because this water clarity is crystal, it's pretty clear. So we're still fishing that bad shad color. So not getting the big fellas, but still having a great time catching a bunch of flatties on that go-to three inch minnows. So where I'm fishing here, I've basically found a big bank in the middle here. The water's over the bank, but again, it's only just over the bank. So the flathead won't be up on that bank. They'll still be holding on these edges. So I'm just picking these edges of this bank in the middle of nowhere. So flathead love those drop-offs, whether it's channel edges, sandbank edges, you know, any of those edges where they can hold and just wait in ambush. So that was cool to move to another bank, pick one up virtually straight away. on top of the bank. Oh, that one feels like a reasonable fish. That's on that quarter three uh, two to four kilo rod. Oh, another little fired up pocket rocket. They're angry today. Get him in here, buddy. Jeez, he drilled it for a little fella. Smashing the little fellas today. That one would be another probably just, or maybe just under, I reckon, that fella. Hit it right up on top of the bank there in the shallows. Send him on his way. been a pretty fun little session anyway we've caught a bunch of fish we just haven't got the big ones today but those techniques using that three inch minnows big eyes working those edges those techniques will get you the big fish well that's been a fun little session anyway out fishing the three inch minnows for flatties that three inch minnows is deadly it's my go-to on flathead there's another legal fish that's a 42 centimeter fish so today we've caught about 14 fish or so um, of those maybe 
five legalese, two just on legal, and then the other half have been undersized fish. But yeah, good fun. Caught a feed of fish, caught a bunch of fish, and that three inch minnows continues to smack the flatties. So if you want to catch yourself a few flatties, grab some three inch minnows. Remember, grab a dark silhouette color, a light natural color, and a fluoro color or a UV color. So you can mix it up when you're out there hit those edges of those banks, channels, weed edges and that sort of thing and get stuck into a few for a feed. Fish on.